1911, and in New Bern, North Carolina, the Athens Theater has opened its doors for the first time on April 11th. Designed by architect Herbert W. Smith, the building itself was named the Athens of North Carolina due to its grandeur, Greek Revival architecture, and for the original stage curtain that depicted the chariot race scene from Ben-Hur. Rich in history, the building is now home to the New Bern Civic Theater, and legacy of the Athens Theater continues. But it is the magic and the memories that take place within these walls that make the building magnificent. I came into this theater, it was, the walls were scratched, the seats were wooden, uh, those things that you expect in an old movie theater, which I'd been told it was, and it was a little beat up inside, but folks, I tell you, the aura and the spirit and the joy and the fun was there. <laughs> it really was. When I first came in here, I think I was nine, and it was a theater camp. It was just big. I'd never been in here. It's second home for me. I'm usually somewhere in downtown New Bern, and the theater's one of my stops. My dad can say, hey, I'm gonna go run errands, I'm gonna stop by the coffee shop, I'm gonna stop by the theater, and it's like, oh, you're going to the theater, let's go. It's just great to, to me to go into theaters or other buildings like this and just see what they were and what they could be again. But yet, you know, the, the spirit of the building hasn't left. When you're here, it's like being home. You know, when you come in, you automatically get that, that goosebumpy feeling. And by being in, in your building, that certainly makes the theater uh, production a much grander and much more confidence is built in the actors. I know I have a lot of people here I can easily rely on because they, they all have one common thing and that is to perform together. They're all coming together to do something that they want to do which makes the disposition in a whole crowd a lot better. It's an actor's tradition for most actors during a show. We'll all be back there with Sharpies and we'll draw all over the walls and you'll see names and little poems and stories and characters or little inside jokes from the shows. You know, you build such a camaraderie no matter who shows up to do a show. It's a whole different group of people. You get to learn a little more about the people uh, that are in the show. The young people that are coming on, it's so great to watch them. So our kids come along at the beginners like the uh, the kids shows and things and they progress into the next level where they can really do some backstage things and do the lights and they feel like they belong. They can get along with the adults just fine. You know, they don't feel like they're kids. They feel like they're part of us. You know, so to me it's like a family and if they can enjoy the family, they'll enjoy the building as such, you know, and everything that goes on in the building, you know. So to me, it's, it's a great future for our young people because they're going to come getting earlier what I waited to 34 and a half to get. When I was Rapunzel and Into the Woods, and it was before the show started, I had my window open and I was sitting there in my tower looking, and one of our cast members, I think he was Cinderella's prince in that show, and his little sister was sitting in the audience on her mom's lap, just smiling at me. She thought I was the coolest person and it was just, it was so cute to have a little girl watching me the whole show, even though I sang a couple lines and just sat there in a window the whole time. <laughs> and that has to be one of my favorite memories. It's, it's the people, it's the building, it's the fact that I've been here for so long. It really, really, really is nice. And the fact that everything around here is older, it, it makes it feel more like a home. The theater should feel like a home to people. So all these people, that have come in, that have done shows, the vaudeville when it came, when vaudeville was here, when the movie people were here. I know if they did like when we were kids, they had magicians, they had other acts that came in and performed on this stage, you know, so you can, when you're here, you can visualize those people and you can think, oh man, you know, that is a really cool experience to be in a building like this that's had so many people come and go who are so talented in what they do. I think if you come in wanting to feel the spirit of the building and be a part of the spirit of the building, that's and you go out of here with an aura and a euphoria that other people don't get. The audience gets it because that's what you give them. And so whatever you can exude from that stage to that audience, you know, that's to me that's that's part of the theater too. It's just not the building. Uh -huh.